So the language is meant to be kind of like fucking with the image, um, and that's hopefully what it's doing. Um, I started a project that was based in erotica, erotic writing and imagery around 2014. Um, and it was really uh, about trying to figure out um, how capitalism was in language and in like the most intimate private places. Um, and also thinking about economies that were created for women, written by women, and then sold to women. Um, so almost entirely kind of like femme-based economies. Um, we're still um, replicating systems of oppression for women. Um, and so I was thinking about these things and thinking about the romance genre as a really toxic um, site particularly in America. And so uh, the images are me, but they're also not me. They're like um, about um, the problems of white feminism, um, representations um, of white bodied women or female bodied white women in um, film. And so the language is meant to be kind of like fucking with the image. Um, and that's hopefully what it's doing. Language is inadequate, images are inadequate, and when you put them together, something else happens. Yeah. Um, and so I do think of them as poems, um, and hopefully there's like a tension that it produces by like people seeing like words, oh, mm -hmm. it'll make sense, or like, that's logical, but like it's not linear, and they're fragmented, and the fragmented subject is a part of that voice, so. The spa, was it's like the first spa in, in the US in West Virginia. It's called Berkeley Springs. And um, it was a, a very sacred site. Native Americans used the spa, used the waters for healing. And then, um, and then George Washington sort of took it over, like literally he went there and used the spa and named it as the first spa. And um, then it was like the site of presidential relaxation um, and uh, colonialism. Um, so it's a site of genocide and um, it means many things. Um, so I basically masturbated in the pools and that's what those images are. I made like a shitty video with my phone and took stills and, and then impressed them upon aluminum plates. Um, they're aluminum prints, which I'm a printmaker also, where I teach printmaking in Virginia. So that kind of like soft impression is also an important part of the work.